Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show. This is a great day. This is a day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing in it. I'm sitting right now on set with Pastor Christian and First Lady Howe of Kingdom Family Worship Center. How you guys doing? Hello. Good. How are you? We are doing great over here. I tell you. <laughs> it's a great day indeed. Yes, it is. Tell us about your location and tell us a little bit about you guys' ministry. I love that smile, by the way. <laughs> I always compliment fabric and so forth. I'm just loving the smile. Can I borrow that? <laughs> okay, tell us about your ministry. Um, well, we're Kingdom Family <laughs> Worship Center. We're currently located at 1200 14th Street. Um, and that's right at what they call the Five Points here in the Phoenix City. Five Points, okay. And that's what they call it. It was named before I got here. <laughs> um, and we've been here since about, we relocated in July, but we've been in ministry since here in September, end of September. But our ministry is three years old um, okay. as a church. As a church ministry, yes, three years. Uh, going on the 33 years that you've been really doing it, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. So this is, um, we've traveled the world and um, served many great leaders and sometimes God's had to pull you out of your own comfort zone yeah. until you come to the forefront sometimes. Yes. Um, so. Okay. Now, well, let me ask you guys, you, are you guys non-denominational? Are you Baptist? Which one? Well, we're non-denominational. Maybe I'll let my wife... Um, it's hard to express and clarify how, who we are. We're just a church for the unchurched. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah. like that. Basically, non-denominational and kingdom citizens. So, the church for the unchurched. Okay. Let me ask you, how in the world did you guys get to this area? <laughs> Columbus, Phoenix City. Wow. Well, that must have been God. Yes. Um, we were en route. We knew God had told us to leave our last location. Um, and like Abraham, sometimes you go on a journey, you don't really know where you're headed. Mm -hmm. And um, we thought we were going to Atlanta or somewhere else. And we loaded up our trucks with no lease, nowhere to move into, just a truck and a promise. And um, we got off the road about 11.45 at night, and we signed the lease about 11.59 that same night. Um, yeah. So. That's, we're pretty sure it's God because only God can do things like that. Are you serious? Absolutely. You signed a lease <laughs> at night. At night. At night. Wow. Yeah, so, so we know it's God. And my wife, you know, didn't have the greatest comfort because that's out of a, a wife's comfort zone. Yes. Um, but she took the plunge of faith and said, if you say this is God, um, and when we got there, the least met our need. That's awesome. You know, it's nothing better than having a man of God with a true woman of God holding his back. Yes. Because every behind every good man should be a good woman. Yes, and you're only as strong as she is, and she's only as strong as you are. And so together with you guys supporting each other, I heard that she supported the move of God. When God put it in you, she just supported that move. Yes. And that's a blessing because so many times we as women, we are fight against what the man trying to do through Christ because we're looking at other stuff. Yes. And we're not always looking inside the, the spiritual side. And we're looking at, well, we don't see this. Yes. It has to be a faith walk be, because of what God has given you, the directions and the orders. So this woman, again, that just volumes her up for even greater because supporting you and the Lord in the movement of God. That's what I saw. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it, it was a great faith walk, um, but, but that makes her a greater woman of faith. Mm. Um, and so it's... Wow. It, it's, it's been a journey of faith, and but we, we're celebrating still. Yeah. Every day is brand new. Every day is brand new. I like that. Okay, let me ask you guys. Sunday you have services. Yes. yes. What time? Oh, I'll let you explain. Um, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And Wednesday evenings at 6.30 p.m. Okay. Eastern Standard Time is our Word on Wednesday, a.k.a. Bible study. Okay, I like yes. that. Word on Wednesday. Yes. All right, Bible study. Yes. Okay, and Sunday's at 10. Yes. Do you guys have a praise and worship team? Okay. We're forming it right now. 
Um, okay. We're still in the beginning stages of getting everybody in. We just finished our first new citizens class for okay. the Phoenix City location. So pulling on everybody's gift. That's awesome. Creating what's needed. Right. What do you want to do? Let's make it happen. Good deal. I had a, I was in a church one time, and when we said praise and worship, they're looking for a group, <laughs> only right. two people. <laughs> right. But those two people stood up there until there were two more finally That's came. That's right. So we ended up with about six total, and we were good yes. to go. But everything starts small. That's right. Because it got to, it can't, if it just jumps off real big right at the, you better watch it. Infection. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's an infection that swells. <laughs> sooner or later, everything that swells has to pop. Oh, yes. So, yes, I like that. That's why I ask. Now, um, do you bring the word or do you bring the word as well? I do most of it, but we tag team. Um, okay. I, I just believe in using all the gifts, and I'm not the only someone who God wants to speak through and to. Um, because also, he uses my experiences, but he also uses my wife's experiences. And um, so the people are blessed because they can hear a man and a woman ministry. Amen. I love it. I love it. And you guys are training up other ministers in the ministry as well. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. Yeah. Like I said, this, this is the year of the rookie. So I believe God is going to just take people who are unchurched, people who are unprogrammed, and he's going to give them a chance to get in the game. Yes. And that's what the kingdom is. That's Amen. good. I heard a rumor that First Lady dance with the, she does dance, uh, <laughs> what they call it? <laughs> Praise dance. Praise dance. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I've always loved to dance and finally being in the kingdom, realizing that I can use that gift for God's glory. That's awesome. I love it. And you know what I love about it? I'm looking at you both sitting here and you guys are so youthful. You know, oh. y'all are young, strong <laughs> women and men of Christ. Amen. And that to me attracts a lot of our viewers out there in the same situation age group wise because y'all not too young and you're not too old you're right in the middle you guys keep it locked next week same time same place we'll see y'all keep it locked with the joneses thank you for watching today's show if you would like additional information about today's show call or email us 